Yo, what is up everybody? It is your boy, Super Nerflan, and saving you from your boredom with some Cold Arms Gates of Hellos Front. We are here with the Russia campaign. We got all the DLC, don't worry about that. And just in case you know, we got all the units. Uh, let's go ahead and we're playing against Finland from the uh, Winter War DLC, yeah, I believe it was called. I can't remember if that's exactly what it was called, but got Finland and we're playing against them let's go ahead and take a look at our research tree so we are on defense I want that I want that we still got three points straight down let's start up the T28 yeah why not research we didn't lose anything last game we just gained a bunch of Finnish vehicles and cannons and everything. Hence why I'm not too worried about researching my own cannons. And to be honest, I don't know if I want T28s either. So let's go ahead and save. And start her on up. Alright guys, this is defense. Gonna be good on the Rutsen. And a uh, bold general may be lucky. But no general can be lucky unless he is bold. The general who allows himself to be bound and hampered by regulations is unlikely to win a battle. Archibald Webble. Basically, he's saying there's rules, but there's also stretching the rules. There's, like, there's always a, a boundary to every rule. Like driving, you can go five over, um, etc., etc. Rules like that. And just uh, interrupting myself to shamelessly promote those like, comment, subscribe buttons down there. Please don't forget to hit them. And um, so yeah, but uh, he's saying that yeah, you gotta take that. Uh, you sometimes gotta bend the rules to make that. Or bend what you normally consider normal to get that victory. All right, I want this Antia gun up there, and I want it now. Wait, wait. Actually, you. Haha, -ha, the gun, the gun benches can tow shit. That's great. Let's move our tanks up as well. Our stolen tanks. Uh, super nice that we stole these tanks. Okay, so you just get AP. AP just slowly generated over time to call these in. Right there, 56, 71. If you scroll over, you can see what is in it. Basically, if you don't remember what you put in it between games. It would be nice. Can you? No. It would be nice if you could scroll over the ones that were grayed out. So that you were like, maybe, uh, is it worth bringing in, you know? Alright. Let's move this tank up. And this tank's moving up. These, uh, which one is this? I don't know. We also don't know where they're coming from, so I'm not going to unhitch anything until we do know what's coming from where. And conscript rifle. So yeah, this isn't actually anything I'm too worried about, so I don't think I'm going to... Well, it's got one of my BT-7s. Mm, I think I want this one, this group first. No matter what, I'm going to get both of them, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I will get both of them, but I'm going to take this one first. Yeah, so let's go ahead and tow up that. So uh, yeah, things like this, like this can tow artillery, anti-tank guns, etc. Put them into place. Super useful, basically just speeds up their deployment. Uh, all right, so I forgot, we do have the two snipers from this, which I'm going to want to get deployed and the whole thing can just sit back there for now. All right, you move up there. Okay, so our snipers are going to be very useful on this defense. Um, I think I almost want them to sit right, right here, but somewhere in the village. I don't know where they're coming from, so let's take this guy, put him right here. Take this guy. Put him right over here. Okay. And we'll be 
back when things start to happen, guys. All right, guys, the attacks have started. They're coming at a really, all right. All right, so this is how they're coming at us. We're gonna have to rearrange our troops just a bit. And what I did is I put my medics in here so that I could drive my medics around and hopefully get to reviving people a little bit faster. To be honest, this is actually not a bad place for this. I can get a little bit more angle down the road. It'd be slightly better, but yeah, there we go. Right, right there. Okay. Now my machine gun bench is gonna kind of provide it some cover as well. Let's go ahead and grab this tank. Gonna watch the right side. This group right here, we're gonna try and it's gonna be weird because there's like no cover. So maybe we'll try it like this. That'll work. All right. What do we? Well, we're just gonna we're, we're not gonna peek at what's coming at us. I wanna. Well, I kind of want. I do kind of want it to be a surprise. All right. This can come unattached. Start facing this way. Come on. Can this thing deploy vehicle sandbags? Yeah, it can. Nice. Oh. <laughs> but they're only facing that way. Okay. Nice. We took out whatever this was. What is this? Machine gun? Oh. Alright. I kind of do want to take a look at what's coming at me. I'm sorry. I can't. Um. Oh. That's. That's not great. Alright. Yeah. They're bringing some heavy artillery in. But that's okay. The. What I'm going to use to take out this artillery is their Vickers, because I really don't care too much about their tanks. The worst comes to worst, I lose the tank. I love how the Finns were so desperate that they put submachine guns in the holes of... Oh, nice! Uh, they put submachine guns in the holes of their new tanks to be like, hey man, it's got anti-infantry. Oh, that's not great. Come on. No, why are you so inaccurate? Come on. If I keep moving, maybe it can't kill me. Double knot pen. Got it. Just had a little aim for the lower glaciers. Come on. Make sure that crew can't do anything else. This cannon is next. Artillery. Oh, we gotta keep going. There's more. Ouch. Ooh, this tank's gone. Alright. That's an anti tank gun. Alright, the good thing is, is it's only the tank, and it's very possible I can do something very spicy here. Come on. I want you to rotate in that direction. I want you. Nah, he's dead. He's so dead. Yeah. There's no way he lives. Come on. Yeah, he's gone. And the stank crew's gone, but that's okay. <laughs> it did its it did its job. Oh gosh, this guy's so inaccurate. Fine man. You're just gonna sit there. Don't do anything else, just sit there. Alright, so that's not good. That's a big artillery piece. Oh my gosh, this guy's, this guy's popping off. No, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I'm an innocent man. Ah, oh, damn. Alright. Yeah, we got... Oh, then we got a really big gun. To respond to that, that's going to be a little bit harder. The Vickers probably... Sh Ooh, oh. Goodness me, no, don't do that. Don't you dare start doing that. Alright. I don't want to, because this is a big risk, but I gotta get to that big gun. It's aiming for my infantry squads, and I can't have it kill my infantry squads. Oh, nice. 
nice. Our cannon did some good good. Did some of that good. All right. See our, our artillery is actually oh oh there. Really trying to three two one. Come on. You really need to aim better. There we go. Cannon gone. One more. Come on. Or two more. Forward. All momentum forward. Come on. Nice. Okay. We're looking good, guys. Our losses have kind of stopped going up. <laughs> After that one good shot position that we got. Oh, so bad. Come on. And I do think I'm going to try and save it. It's dangerous. I know it's really dangerous. Especially so early on in their attack to save something like this. Uh, and so close to their lines. But, like I said, I don't want to research artillery myself. So taking it is going to be the best option I have. So, let's keep going. Well. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's unfortunate. Um This is the problem with not getting our own artillery, is it's putting me in more of a spot that I need to risk my tanks to do this stuff like that, to take out artillery and anti-tank guns. So far, I think we're, our losses are fine. Haven't gotten too close. I just need... We're going to hold off for now on sending any more dangerous attacks. It's going to be dangerous because I know... Ooh, that thing needs to go. That thing really needs to go. Why are you not aiming at this thing already? Doesn't make sense. Just doesn't make sense, man. Ah, uh, you motherfucker. And you don't have any shots on it. Because that's in the way now. Oh, well, all of our armor's dying, but that's okay. That's A-OK. -okay. We're not actually doing too bad here. This thing can advance a little bit. Mm, only a little bit. This tank needs to... Oof, look at that, man. That is crazy. We got two cannons coming up on this side. Nice. The good thing is the cannons are stopping their squads from getting close to us. But... Their cannons are still not answered, which is my problem. We just gotta rush through this. Got to keep going. Come on. What's shooting at me? Stop it. <laughs> you shall not kill me. Oh, yes. Why? Why is there always another cannon, man? It's so unnecessary! It's so unnecessary! Bro, that's so unnecessary! The amount of cannons, man. We're... I botched this. I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, This... Dude, those... It's... <laughs> Every time I went out and attack, there came another group of cannon, like, like, dog, that's so unfortunate. A little irritating, very unfortunate. Uh, I can't do anything. There's, there's not much to do here, we just have to hold it. I, I have nothing to go and take out those cannons. I, I can't even... I have no hope of taking any of their stuff. I should I should have waited for the tanks a little bit longer, I guess, until like I should have waited until the reinforcements stopped coming. 
but how... I, I, I didn't expect for them to have a million and one artillery and fucking anti-tank guns. So... We're just gonna... If they take out anything more, we are gonna be really screwed. Like, they take this thing out... Uh, the squad. Move up here. Come on. I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna get everything back, but it's it's not looking. It's not looking viable, to be honest. It's looking like as soon as we get this win, we pull out and. Uh, yeah, I screwed myself. I screwed myself, I screwed myself, I screwed myself. We've lost all of our tanks that mattered. Come on, lock him down. Squad still out here doing fine. Can you guys lock him down, please? Like, come on, you ridiculous ass motherfuckers. Come on. Come on. Got his ass. Yeah, it's just way too much, too much artillery, man. Like, look at this. I mean, if they run out of ammo, maybe. But I don't even know if that's possible. I don't know if the AI can run out of ammo. It'd be nice. It'd be very nice. And no, I don't want to risk my medics trying to get this. Doesn't seem like. It's really worth it to me. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Seems viable. Um, I got I got two balls yet yeah, there. I might be able to take these back, but that's only if they run out of ammo. It's. I don't think it's worth it, man. Like, we can try and take some stuff from them. Kind of recuperate our losses, maybe, but... They had so much artillery, man. Three people on the truck. Strong point still holding out though, which is good. <sighs> Come on, man! I hate when this happens. Come on. Okay. Start rotating. Um. Oh, this is... Oh, come on, man. It's not gonna happen, is it? Come 
alalım. Get in, just get in. If I can use the gun, I'm happy. Just get in. Yeah. This is about right. Now the cannon's looking at me. If this fails, it's uh, we're just not going to be able to take things back. Come on. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. The amount of losses we took here just... I, I played too risky. I shouldn't have moved my tanks out. My BT-7s. I made a mistake and it's gonna cost... Because like we're not... We don't have the resources to spend right now. Our only saving grace right now is that they haven't hit this thing. Yep. Oh, they do have an anti tank grenade. Mm. We're working. We. Yeah. 18 losses, three vehicles. So we didn't lose a lot, we just lost a lot in value. Which is gonna be really hard to fix right now because if you can't tell, we ain't got shit. Wait. I didn't lose my tanks? So because the model itself is not destroyed, and even though the enemy took one. Interesting. I'll take it. Gonna cost us an arm and a leg and resupply, so apparently that defense wasn't too bad. <laughs> In reality, we lost zero vehicles and 18 troops, which isn't too bad. That resupply is gonna be a little expensive, but is to be expected. In the next video. We will continue to go down our line. Maybe get some ZT-34s up in here. Maybe, maybe. Uh, and yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you guys have any questions, any maybe some advice that you, maybe you're playing this and you need some help. I might be able to help. I might not be able to help. I don't play with Fog of War, so maybe I can't help you there. Maybe we'll try a game with Fog of War and see how well I do. We'll see. But hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and don't forget to hit those buttons down below. Catch you later, guys.